friends this is soft tenons block a small nick in the conjunctiva the scleral surface is exposed and then lignocaine with adrenaline is injected in the posterior aspect of the soft tenons space about 2 cc of lignocaine is injected this patient has hard cataract with small people and the patient is under topical anesthesia so I thought of using this soft tenons block and now within few seconds the patient will be very comfortable and now this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and now an air bubble is injected beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule this is a bit of adrenaline but in this case the adrenaline didn't work you can see that the size of the people is about 3.5 millimeter and I thought of using a people expansion device in this case and the people expansion device that I have with me is B hex people expander B hex is a hexagonal people expansion device invented by Dr. Suven Bhattacharji this is the device it has got flanges and notches alternate flanges are tucked under the iris this is a uniplanar device since I have only one side port I am using the main wound to tuck the flange at one o'clock now I go through the left side port and tuck the flange at 10 o'clock now alternate flanges are tucked 10 o'clock on o'clock and 5 o'clock these three flanges are tucked the other three flanges are over the iris this is a very thin device we don't need any injector system for applying and for removal of this device and now this is CCC continuous carfilinear capsulorexis uh, CCC of about 5 millimeter is obtained with this device as we go along the margin of the dilated people and now this is hydro dissection hydro dissection is done with very carefully with minimal amount of PSS is injected at multiple points the nucleus is tapped and now I inject a bit of visco go through the side port again and try to rotate the nucleus and I find that the nucleus is rotating nicely and now some more visco to protect the corneal endothelium and here goes the tip of the phaco needle this is a minimally edited video the surgery took about 13 minutes actually 12 point 12 minutes and 45 seconds it has been edited to about 11 minutes and now watch the submarine job this is a beautiful technique we don't have to do we don't have to make a trench just go through the substance of the nucleus and divide the nucleus into two heminuclei this is one heminucleus it is being divided into two large fragments then we come to the other heminucleus and this is also divided into two large fragments 
then each large fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy. The machine I have with me today is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. It's a beautiful machine. It has got speep mode. After cracking the nucleus into fragments, I'm using the speep mode. Fallibility is much better with this speed mode and the antichamber stability is much better with the speed mode. Speep S P double P speep mode. And now this is the last nuclear fragment has been managed this is a chunk of epinucleus yes it is done so the nucleus has been nicely managed and now we are going to remove the cortex the capsular bag and antechamber is filled up with visco and I'm using a 23g Simco cannula for removing the cortical lens matter. Yes, this is almost done. Go through the side foot and remove the subincisional cortex and the cortex at ten o'clock and the cortical cleanup has been very satisfactory and posterior capsule is very clear and now visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and this is a beautiful lens this is sensor 1 this is So the capsular, uh, the intraocular lens has gone into the capsular bag, and now we're going to remove the BHEX. One flange, which is above the iris, is held, and it is manipulated in such a way that the other flanges are untucked and it is just pulled out. There is some pigment dispersion. We have to remove these pigments. We have to remove the visco very nicely so that the intraocular pressure remains normal. There should not be any rise of intraocular pressure because of retained viscoelastic substance. now go through the side port and remove some more visco I give a lot of time in removing the visco I don't depend on drainage of this viscoelastic substance through the trabecular meshwork Now I take the bimanual irrigation aspiration, go through with the irrigation first, go behind the eye well and irrigate the capsular bag nicely. And now Now I take this is moxie, moxifloxacin, and then the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma 
on either side of this step wound. And this is the this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. See the people has is almost round. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. And then the integrity of all the wounds are checked. And then the case is concluded. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface. So thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will encourage you to use people expansion device in cases with heart cataract with small people and you'll get some tips to do subtenon block in such cases.